In this brand new video, you will now discover another data type, the list. Be sure to stick around, and watch until the end of this video. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Iterating through a list. Lists are a very useful and a widely used data structure, in Python. As a developer, you will often be in situations where you will need to iterate through a list, while you perform some actions, on its items. Consequently, the most common way to iterate through a list, is with a for loop. For instance, if you want to iterate over all the items of my list, which contains the values, red, green, and blue, you will write for item in my list. So, on each iteration, the variable item will contain the value present at the current index. This works pretty well if you only need to read the items of the list. But, if you want to update them, you will need the indexes. A common way to do that, is to combine the range and len functions, all together. For instance, this loop iterates through the list and double each item. If you do not know how the range function works, please check out the suggested video about Python for loops. Eventually, you may want to find how many items a list has. In that case, you do not have to iterate through the entire list, and count each item. But simply use the function len, which directly returns the number of items, in a list. Awesome, it is your time to practice now. In this example, you will have two variables, my item, and, my list. My item, is the value you will be looking for, inside, my list. What you need is, to check if a value is inside my list. If it is, iterate through this list, using for loops. And find the index, at which your item is. As soon as you found this item, break out of the loop and print a success message, with its position in the list. Or, print an error message, item not found. Here is a solution, and it may vary from yours. First, let's declare the two variables, my item, and, my list. Then, you will check whether my item is in my list, so that you do not have to iterate through the entire list, unnecessarily. If the boolean condition is true, you will use the range function, combined with the len function. This way, you can have the value of the current index, on each iteration, which is required, if you want to update a specific item. Next, let's check whether the current item matches the item you were looking for, using the index i in square brackets. As soon as it does, you will print a success message, containing the item, and its position in, my list. Then, in this example, break out of the loop, so you do not spend more time with the next items. Obviously, you could also assume that, my item, is present multiple times in, my list. Consequently, it would print out a new message, each time this item has been found, and at a different position. Congrats! You just wrote your first lines of code, using, list, for loop, if statements and logical operators, all of them combine, together. Please, do not forget to watch these suggested videos about Python for loops, and Python conditionals with logical operators, if you need help understanding one of these core concepts. And check out our blog, if you want more examples. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.